Hi, I'm Councilwoman Monica Rodriguez from the 7th District. And I'm Councilwoman Nithya Raman from the 4th District. I stepped up to run for office because I was inspired by young people stepping up to make change right now. For me, it's about reminding everybody that their voice matters, that activism doesn't begin at a certain age, and it certainly doesn't begin when you're 18 years old. I think what, for me, this particular Women's Heritage Month has drawn attention to is really this sense of, let's not forget the lessons of this moment, and let's make sure that in a year's time and in 10 years time, that we're not still putting these barriers in women's paths as they're trying to work outside of the home, as they're trying to have balanced childcare and their professional lives, as they're trying to dig themselves out of poverty. Let us take away the barriers that I know a more active and more thoughtful government infrastructure can do. To have perceived that gender roles have really transformed substantially, that notion was killed during this pandemic women retained that primary responsibility of being the caretaker, having to manage all those things. And that's why we saw such an attrition of women in the workforce. Um, but I think to underscore Nithya's point, we need to fund universal uh, childcare and make it equitably accessible for trusted sources. Women need to know that their children are going to be cared for and that they're going to be not have to be forced into a position of making the decision of either being able to go to work and how to manage that and offset with childcare costs. It makes it very difficult for women to re remain in these positions and continue to advance. The unspoken burdens that women carry, all of those have become apparent now. You know, women are still not making the equivalent, you know, dollar for dollar earnings. We Latinas are still substantially, you know, 63 cents to the dollar of what their male counterparts earn. Those are some of the huge disparities that we still need to work past. And this is why I've had a majority women staff. Uh, I've got 80% of my staff is comprised of women. 100% of my leadership team are women. And it's because we need to continue to advance that work and creating opportunities for women to lead. We can't go back to what, what was there before this moment. We can only move forward. And I think we have to hold on to those lessons and make sure that we're fighting for that change going forward.